video, I will create an experience that will help students to understand what geometric solids are. And this will be an alternative to the typical wood representations of the solids that are not recommended now during the pandemic to avoid the propagation of the virus through the wood solids. So the first thing that needs to be done is the activation of the SharePoint spaces. By default, SharePoint Spaces, it's still deactivated in the site collections and SharePoint Spaces, it's still in preview. To activate it, you need to go to Settings, Site Information and view all site settings. From the site settings, you will need to go to Manage Site Features, scroll down and activate the Spaces Preview. This allow your users to create mixed reliability spaces inside of SharePoint. Once you click on activate, go back to your portal. And now from new, you will have a new option. From here, you will be able to create a new space. When you click on the space, the first thing you have to do is provide a name for the space itself. In this case, it will be geometric solids. Alternatively, you can also provide a description and you will need to select what is the structure? The structure is the stage where your elements will be displayed. For this scenario, I want something simple as this will be used in classes. I don't want students to be distracted by the surroundings of the space itself. So I will proceed and select gallery. After a few seconds, the space is created and it's ready for you to start building your own experience. Now, before we start adding content space itself, let's see what we can do in the space design tab. You can still change the structure of your space and you can define different background images or solid colors. Again, I want to remove all the distractions from the space, so I will go ahead and I will select color for the space. You can also define uh, messages and ambient sounds for the space, but for this example, I will leave it as it is with the default environments. Add your elements to the space. You need to click on this plus icon at the top. This will open the WarePoint gallery that is available for SharePoint spaces. And from here, I will select the 3D object. For selecting your object, you need to define the location where it will be placed in your space. Once you do that, it will open a pane where you will be able to pick your objects from a 3D catalog. There are a lot of objects from here that you can choose and you can use in your classes, but what I want to use today is the 3D shapes. And for this demo, I will use the red. I will insert it here. I will, I'm able now to move it around to see how it looks. I'm able to interact with the space. And if I want to add text telling the students what this is, I'm able to do it here. And I can type up the solid. Let's hit publish. And this is uh, how the space looks like. Obviously, this is too close to the screen. Uh, but this is something that you can refine. So let's see how this can be rearranged and realigned. Let's edit the space one more time. Let's select the object. And from here, once you click and once you select the space, you will be able to define the position in the axle. So you can find the X, the Y, the Z, and this will be the default values for the object when you first open the space and you can bring it closer or away from the center of the scene. So I will send it all the way to the back and I will do the same thing with this, but I will put it uh, at the top above the 
solid. I will hit republish. And now my scene is a bit different than it was. And I can repeat the same process all the way around to add more solids. So now that we've seen this, let's move ahead and let's see how it can be then added to Microsoft Teams. And to do that, I will quickly jump into another environment where I okay. I'm in another environment, but the idea here is the same. I've just changed because here I have the scenario already deployed. And as you can see, I have a variety of different solids. And as a student, I'm able to move around them. And if I want to analyze one of them in detail, the only thing I have to do is to click in the solid and with my mouse, I'm able to flip it around. I'm able to see everything and I'm able to move forward and select the next one. So this is a great way for your students to interact with the experiences that they usually have in class, but now in the digital world. But as you can see, this is inside of SharePoint. And if you are delivering classes through the web, or if you are creating tasks for your students to do, probably you are doing it in Microsoft Teams. So let's see how easily we can bring this to Microsoft Teams. All you have to do in reality is to copy the link to the page uh, or select the page from one of the uh, available pages in the SharePoint app that we will add here. So on Teams, you have to go and click on the plus sign, select SharePoint pages app or SharePoint. And from here, you will have to select the page where you've built your space. Your SharePoint space is nothing more than a page. And if you've built your space inside of the team where you want to share it, it will be listed here. If not, you can select any SharePoint site, paste the link to the page and it and save. Be aware of the permissions. Students must have permissions to both sites if you are sharing the space from another site inside of a team. But again, here is your SharePoint space ready to be consumed and ready for your students to interact with directly from the Microsoft Teams context. Now explore SharePoint spaces and start building experience for your students. I'm sure they will love this interaction. Hope you like this video. And if you want to see more content like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Bye-bye. Thank you.